Shook his head. They would be needed here, I'm afraid, replies the Dublin Hat. Percy promised to look after Annie and Clover, but was sorry to see Thomas go again. As Thomas headed to the yard to get to the wood coaches, he saw a bear at the station platform. He warned Thomas about the difficult bend before Kelswolf. You have to slow down and take care when you come to the bend. He warned, if you go too fast, you would do it. Thank you, Bear, said Thomas. At the yard, Thomas was collecting the works coaches, but he was still thinking about what Bear told him earlier. Thomas went too fast and gave the coaches a mighty bit. Just rolled around and bumped into James. Watch me, you doing? Sorry, James. Sorry, said Thomas. He was beginning to miss this is coaches, and he knew he would never biff them to them. Thomas coupled up to the coaches. Was on his way to kill them. The typical man must be ahead, he thought to himself. And he was right. Nearer and near, Thomas was supposed to slow down, but he felt scared. When he went faster, the coaches rattled and shook like the Marachis. Soon be over, soon be over, Thomas thought to himself. And soon it was. He crashed right into the bushes. Luckily, no one was hurt. But Thomas felt sadder than ever. Harvey came to clear up the mess. He didn't really like to see the sad look on a little blue tank engine's face. Bear warned me about the difficult bend, but I wasn't paying attention and I went too fast. He wished sadly. I'm not a really useful engine without my coaches. Oh, you are still a real useful engine said Harvey, and a jolly good thing. And he jumped away. <laughs> Douglas took over for Thomas, and Thomas was, was sent back to the branch line. He was sad, and he wanted to get back with Manny and Clover. Yeah, the guards whistle. A line of uh, freight cars raced by him. They were uncoupled with Derek. Cinders and ashes, cried Thomas. The cars are heading for Kelsworth Road, and they're going too fast. I must warn the signalman. And he raced after them. The cars clattered along the track. Thomas was determined to save the rebuilt station. Soon he dashed over the runaway trucks. Hurry, Thomas, hurry! said his driver. He went faster and faster, but he was nearly at the difficult bend. Thomas wanted to hurry, but he remembered what Bear said before earlier. I had to slow down and pump with care, he said to himself. He applied his brakes and jumped carefully around the difficult bend. I've done it! He did it. So did the runaway freight cars. Thomas raced as fast as he could. As fast as we can, and he wouldn't crash into the station, said this driver. 
Thomas, you must change the points. The sickle might quickly change the points. The freight cars crash into the sand with a piff and a dash of the buffers. The guard jumped clear as they ran into the sidings, and the station was saved. The next day, Thomas was sent off to Kelsworth Road with Annie and Clover. He chopped off the horn with a difficult bend and slowed down, and puffed with care. The grand opening was a great success, so Thomas had stepped out for Annie and congratulated Thomas. You had saved the new station, he boomed proudly. You are a very brave engine, and very useful. Thank you, sir, replied Thomas. He felt proud to make his smoke box glow.